<laughs> good morning, Jessica. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Doing good. Right. Well, welcome to Pandas. We'll go ahead and get started. Awesome. Right. Thanks. All right. All right. Lauren, what's our first thing up today? All right. So the first thing we do is we go and we turn on the lights and we say hi to the bears. They're just now waking up that we've come in the building and we'll start getting their day rooms ready for the day too. Awesome. And it's pretty early. It's it is. 7 a.m. Yes. All bright right. and early. <laughs> Let's hit it. So back here are the dens where the bears are pulled into at night. The first den is Lulla's. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Looking handsome as always, huh, buddy? Hello, sir. I know. You look very eager. And then this is Yaya. Oh, you look a little sleepy still. She does, oh, silly girl. Sleepy? And she loves saying hello to people and... Oh, good morning. Really? So one of the favorite things, how she likes to say hello, is actually to sniff your hair. It's a little oddity of, of All right. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll show you how we do it, and then if you want to, you're welcome to give it a try. Hey, girly, here you. wash my hair. Oh, a little sniff. <laughs> Doing good. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if my hair products are approved. Do we approve? I think she likes it. <laughs> Silly girl. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll open up these doors and we'll get them their treat and we'll start getting their bamboo. Um, we have the two climate controlled day rooms. They stay between 65 and 75 all year round. Um, and then when it's 75 degrees or less outside, we can have our bears outside. So but is that kind of their natural climate, like in the wild for band of bears? Yeah. If you get any hotter than that, they're going to be very uncomfortable. Okay. So we ship them back into the dens around 4.15 to 5 o'clock during our winter hours um, into a den that's filled with bamboo. And I'll keep them happy all night. And in the morning, we come in, give sugar cane, and we shift them into their rooms. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that sugar cane to them. Okay. Uh, so they have their treat. Awesome. Let's go. Right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get on some gloves anytime we handle our, our bear's food. Um, so right here, if you'd like to get a pair yourself. I have little hands. Which uh, ones are the little smalls? Right there. And so we use frozen sugar cane. Uh, it's one of their favorite treats. Why um, frozen? Um, it holds its kind of shape better and it's just like a popsicle. Oh, kind okay. Of a, a fun little treat. See, looking all beautiful. There you go. <laughs> oh, so happy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Getting into the position. All right. So the so next vocal. thing <laughs> we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get their bamboo. Okay. Uh, we get two bundles in the morning and we have it picked out the day before. Okay. Um, so that it's all set up in our bamboo cooler for us, which is this way. So this tells us right here all of the bamboo that we have. It tells us the species, the site where it was cut, and the day that it was cut, as well as the number of bundles that we have. The bundles are going to be about seven to 10 kilograms, so about 15 to 20 pounds um, each. So they get about 40 pounds of bamboo very first thing. Um, and what we're looking for is their breakfast. So there's, you said there's different species. Yes. Um, so bamboo is basically um, a woody grass. Um, and there are many different species of bamboo. Now, the bears are fairly picky and they will eat what they were exposed to when they were young. So our guys eat four species of bamboo. They eat silcatas, and that's mostly what they eat. They eat beseti bamboo, they eat nuda bamboo, and they also eat arrow bamboo. Arrow bamboo doesn't look like bamboo. It's very, very leafy. So that's kind of the different one um, that you'll kind of see. And I'll show you how you can kind of tell the difference in okay. the species in a moment. So when we're looking at this, our left shelf, middle, um, breakfast, we're gonna have law on the top and y'all on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and climb in here. All right, very organized. We try. <laughs> wow. All right, so Look at all that bamboo. Uh, this isn't even a full cooler. Uh, we do have some room on the space. We'll get an order today. We do get orders every day. Um, this actually fell from here. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll pull these down and we'll get these in. So I'm gonna hand you one of the bundles. All right. There you go. <laughs> just come we'll put here. you to work. Yep. Put me to work. Pull it out this way. And let me just double check. I'm fairly certain Lola was on top. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to set this up in the day room. So what we'll do is we kind of spread it out. We'll have one here, and then why don't we go ahead and place his one right here if you want to lay it, just so it's kind of resting up there. All right, so you can tell this is a sulcata because of the groove. If you look here, there's a yellow groove. And so that is the signature of um, a sulcata bamboo. Um, this part's called the culm or the stick. Um, and if we don't have an arrow bamboo with them, we try to get ones with a lot of sticks. And then we also try to get a nice leafy bundle okay. while we're at it. And they eat all of it? Uh, they will eat all portions of the bamboo. Seasonally, they kind of change between leaf and culm. Um, and to be perfectly honest, uh, if you try a lot, of, a lot of sticks, especially with Yaya and she doesn't like it, you quite often go to, well, maybe she wants leaves. And so you give her a leafy option too. And then it'll just kind of settle. And then we'll come over to this one. And so once again, even though this looks so different, look right here. Yeah, that yellow That line. yellow groove, that tells you that this is a sulcata. Gotcha. And this is the primary bamboo the, that they eat pretty much? It is. Okay. Um, so we have lots of different species of sulcata in the, uh, in the cooler. We also do keep a Bassetti and Nuda. Uh, last year with the big freeze, the arrow got hit kind of hard. Um, so we're kind of waiting for a lot of that to grow to the appropriate age. Because um, bears will eat the bamboo when it's either shoots, which is brand new growth before it leaves out, mm -hmm. or it'll eat it when it is two to three years old. Okay. Uh, so they're, they're very picky. Yeah, There's a very, very, picky. very good reason for that, uh, which is they eat a low nutrient food item, mm -hmm. so they need to get the best bamboo they can. Makes sense. All right, well, let's go get Yaw set up, right. and then we'll shift them around. That one's heavier. <laughs> A little bit heavier. She'll love it. That's perfect. <laughs> You're good. All right. And then this one, I'll hand that and let you position this one too. You want this rope? Yep, I'll grab that for you. All right. And then why don't we put this one just kind of, kind of right here. And I'll give her a couple of spaces that she can decide to grab from and sit. Uh, my boss always says that the main thing you need in a panda exhibit is to have areas where they can rest their backs, uh, which is why we have all the rock work in here. Give some good places to sit and relax while eating. So that's really what they enjoy doing is, is sitting, laying back on a rock and eating their bamboo. Yep, a panda bear that's eating bamboo is a happy bear. So we'll go ahead and get their training treats ready now. Okay. Uh, so we can get our daily weight, get a really good look at them and their behavior, and then we'll get them in to eat. Awesome. All right. The main thing you want to do when, you, when you're training an animal is you need to give the highest value reward possible, so you pick their favorite. Um, and you always try and see if you can get something that's more motivating. Uh, but in the case of these guys, apple and grapes, they're, they're tried and true. <laughs> Every single thing we give the bears, um, we write down. You are going to learn to hate scales today. Scales? <laughs> yes, we weigh all the bamboo that goes in, all the shrapnel, the little sticks of bamboo that they tear up. We weigh their poop. We weigh them. Uh, we weigh any extra foods we give them. So there's a lot of weighing. As long as I don't get on a scale, we're good. <laughs> so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get their target sticks. Lola has the bigger, Yaya has the smaller. And then we're gonna come over to the training area here where we have our scale. Okay. So the bears are incredibly smart and incredibly well-trained. Uh, they help us with their husbandry, um, which is wonderful. We can get them to open their mouth. We can clip their nails when we need to. Um, they're even trained to give a monthly blood draw, uh, which of course is the best way to tell how they're doing physically. And then of course we get their weight every day. So by hun husbandry, you mean like their daily needs or yeah, like their- Yeah, how we take care of them. Okay. Uh, so rather than having to do a knockdown or do it, you know, be stressful with trimming their nails, 
they just voluntarily give us their hands and we trim them on a daily basis. Oh, okay. So it's, it makes it way easier for both of us. <laughs> and less stressful on the animals as well, I assume. Yes, much less. They just think it's a fun game where they get some good food. Target. Good. 188 at 720. It's important information. I'm going to write that down on his sheet in just a few minutes. So y'all keep up with their weight every single day. We do every single day. Um, obviously, if the, for some reason you know they're sleeping in or um, we're unable to get a weight, we might have one or two days missing. But we have years worth of weight data, uh, which is wonderful because if we're concerned about a weight, we can go back and look and see is there a seasonal variation in weight? Where are we historically on it? So the first thing we always ask is for a mouth open. Open. Good. So we can get a nice good look if there's any bamboo in there, if there's any redness of the gums. Uh, we can see it and we can then let our vets know. Um, and they'll hold it for long enough as you saw that you can even get pictures, which is wonderful. Oh. You want to try an open mouth? Okay, so it's that. Okay. Good. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right, so we want to look at his eyes. Eye. You can look, I can kind of feel, make sure nothing's wrong, near the ear too. Good. So this training session is not only like good for y'all to see what is going on with them, but also it's kind of enriching for them too. Like oh, it they, is. They it's, enjoy participating. Yeah, it's mental stimulation on their part. They enjoy it. Pa. Good. You can tell how much he enjoys that apple. Pa? Good. Got some fuzzy paws. Yes, that they do. <laughs> All right, we're going to make him do something that makes him move. We'll see how he does. You can tell he enjoys the apple. He sucks his tongue to yeah. make sure he gets all the apples taste off. Right. Ready, La? All fours. Oh, rock star today. Good. Off. He is. And that lets us be able to get a really good look and feel on anything on his side, uh, which is very helpful. We do injections. And of course, do injections, you need a so shoulder. Shoulder. Good. So that little poke is like a pretend injection. It is. Um, and when we're doing real injection training, we'll actually take a blunted needle mm -hmm. so that they're used to the feel of the needle also. Okay. This little rock over here with that little round hole in it, that's their, their bubbler essentially. And so it's on continuously and it gives continual fresh water. Um, it looks like they can't drink from it because people think that they lap up water like a dog laps up water, but they don't. Instead, they put their mouth down and they suck it up, which is just kind of cool. <laughs> um, but really with him, um, if he's drinking at his drinker, we know he's gonna be asking for food soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just his tell. So they just put their little mouth over that circle and like inhale? Yep. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. It is. It was surprising. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and get Yaw now. Okay. Good. All right, so we're 176 at 730. Good girl. <laughs> Open. Good. Such a sweet face. Feet. <laughs> Good. Lay back. So we're going to just pull back and check. We're looking for redness or puffiness. Sorry, baby. And then we're going to ultrasound. Good. Wow. That's incredible. Shoulder. Good. All right. So we'll go ahead and get her into the hallway. She is much more likely to be seen in a tree than Lola. So it's this, and you just hold it kind of close to the mesh there. Okay. So there's that. Yep, so climb. Good. Oh. What are those little noises she keeps making? Yaya is just very talkative. Huh. It is a, 
a yaya quirk. <laughs> Chest. Good. Eye. Once again, look. Nothing's wrong with that eye. Good. I know I'm not quick enough, am I? <laughs> Those are langers. But good. So this is a time where we'd be able to get those clippers and just clip if we needed to. Good. Hi. Shoulder. Shoulder. Good. <laughs> and then we'll see if she'll station at the door for us. And once again, best practice, always check your locks before you let a bear into the space. All done. All right, and then we'll go write the information down and check our cameras. So we've got them in their day rooms and they're settled. We've got them fed and happy. Yep, they're eating at the moment, so that's good. So now what are we going to do next? Now we're going to start on dens. Right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bundle up all the sticks of bamboo and then we're going to take all the shrapnel, which is the little sticks that they take off, the peel of the bamboo, if you will, um, into piles and the feces into piles because we're going to weigh absolutely everything that's in there okay. so that we can kind of guess based on their weight and what they left, how much they ate and how much was assimilated because we know how much they pooped out. So there's lots and lots of data collecting when you deal with pandas. Yeah? Oh, we need to stop. We can go ahead and put our stuff down, but we need to go get Lella some food. He's asking. <laughs> All right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and it's the middle of the right front. So on the right side, the middle shelf. Browse and McKnight, there's two bundles. So we'll come in here and we're just gonna pull some sticks. Okay. Okay. There you go, and grab one more. So, we'll go ahead and weigh that, and then we'll write it down on our sheet. What were you doing? It's very cold. 133.8. All right, that <laughs> is good. And we know that we're giving Sulcata McKnight from 213. So go ahead and just drop them in. So I just, yep, just drop. There you go. And he should wander down. We're going to go and we're going to watch the camera and see what he thinks. So hopefully he'll sit down and he'll start eating the stick and then we can go back to our dens. If not, we'll give something else a try. He definitely seems to be enjoying that. So he we'll go ahead and get content. back. <laughs> you right. can tell when they're happy when they have a bunch of bamboo shrapnel on their tummy. On their belly? Just yeah. Like there. And Yaya, um, <laughs> She's doing it now. She has the stick on her ear. You <laughs> always tell when it's a really good stick when she holds it on her ear while she's eating. She's a goofy bear. What a goober. She really is. <laughs> All right, back to cleaning. Yep. There you go. Oh, man. All right. All right. And now you're going to get that and put it on your shoulder. Oh, it's kind of so hard to see with it on your shoulder, isn't it? All right, and then while you're balancing on your shoulder, you're gonna grab that loop and you're gonna put it on this hook. There you go, excellent. <laughs> and now we're gonna write it down what our weight is. We take another look at our bears. They're both happily eating, lots of shrapnel on their bellies, which is a good sign. So now we're gonna separate out the shrapnel from the poop. Use your broom to push it into the bag. That was very impressive. <laughs> That's practice. You did that really well. Thanks. We should steal you. <laughs> well, as I've told everyone else, just give me a call on channel nine. I'll, I'll be down. <laughs> so of course, the first thing you do when you come in is you look at your screen and Lala is going into a penguin. 
So, let's see here. What do we want at this point? And of course we change gloves at this point. 810, to be honest, he is due for biscuits. <laughs> Good job. All right. Yay. All right, all done. And hopefully he'll go eat some bamboo. Enjoy. <laughs> So we're in Yaya's den, right? we're ready to clean up, but there's two different types of poop in here that I am holding. Yes, um, and what it is, it's different parts of the bamboo. So this is a perfectly formed number two fecal that is from the comb. It just has pieces of the wood. What you're holding in your right hand is leafy fecal. So that is just all the leaves from the bamboo um, that has been made into a, a ball of fecal. Um, so on camera, they look very, very different. Um, these are much darker. Um, and during the time of year when she eats mostly leaves, uh, which is typically kind of fallish, um, you'll see a lot of a lot of those. And they also tend to be more moist. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes they do kind of leak some water um, from them. You'll see water trailing out. Okay. And so like that does look really dark on our cameras. It does. So yeah. Okay. Just. You know. And those are both perfect, exactly what you want to see from a panda fecals. They just look so different because it's different parts of the bamboo. Super healthy poops. Yes. We are proud of Yaya and her poops. So now we're going to do Yaya's den. That's your job. And when you're done, I'll give you a grade, either passing or failing. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I got this. So how'd I do? Pass, fail? 100% pass. You oh, did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Best you've ever seen? Best I've ever seen. Uh, I knew it. So now we're gonna hose everything down and then we'll be all done. All right, let's finish up this cleaning. All right. So we've got it all cleaned up. It's ready for the pandas to come back in tonight and they'll have bamboo and some enrichment items, right, when they come back in? That's right. So right now we're putting about 30 kegs of bamboo in. Um, so that's usually four bundles of bamboo that we'll put in different areas. We kind of move them far apart so that we can look at the camera and see what it is they're eating. Uh, they always get some sort of enrichment and that can be a little feeding device. Sometimes we utilize the whole vertical space of the area and put sticks in that they have to kind of climb up. Last night, in fact, Yaya had a, a container with biscuits skewered through a piece of bamboo up <laughs> high for her to, to climb and she had an absolute blast with that. Uh, so it'll be all ready to go for them. Awesome. And so this is a pretty big space. You know, we've got, now that it's pretty empty, we can see like how big this area is and how tall it is. Yeah. Um, and they utilize a lot of that space. They do. During the night, um, right? You will see them all over. Um, sometimes they lounge underneath the, underneath the platform. Sometimes they sleep on top. Yaya especially likes to do that. Um, so they move around a lot. And these spaces were built to the specifications of the Chinese government. And that's what allowed us to get the pandas. All right. Well, now that we're all done back here, what if we go look at them out front? See I what they're doing? That's a great idea. Awesome. Let's go. All right. Near to near. All right, they'll be Ooh. out here. All right. There they are in all their glory. <laughs> well, thank you so much for letting me come and crash your day and observe you and all that you get to do here with these pandas. It's a really amazing work that you do and so dedicated. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure having you. We really enjoy being able to show off our bears and everything that goes into their care. 
Yeah, it's amazing how much goes into it, you know, stopping and starting and stopping and starting based on their needs. is It's a long day, but it's really rewarding. Oh, it's definitely worth it. And every day is fun because who wouldn't want to spend their day catering to the needs of such cool animals? Yes. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for showing us. <laughs> Thank you for coming.